Okay, so for section three, this is our last section of the semester. We're going to be solving quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. Now, the quadratic formula is, is, is a formula where we can literally just use this on any quadratic equation. It works on every single one. And the formula is very simple. Some of you may have even seen it before, so I'm going to give it to you right now. So here's our, here's our quadratic formula. So solutions to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So that's the key. you got to get this equal to 0. But solutions to the equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a does not equal zero are given by, and here's the formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2 times a. Okay? It's very straightforward. All you got to be able to do is identify what A, B, and C are, and just substitute it in. So let me show you how easy this is. Here's an example. We're going to solve x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0 using the quadratic formula, which is above. So if I look, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight them in red, I'll go left to right. A equals 1. B equals negative 6. And C equals positive 5. So now that you know what A, B, and C are, all you have to do is substitute it into the formula. So you're going to get negative, negative 6, plus or minus the square root of negative 6 to the second power, minus 4 times 1 times 5, all divided by 2 times 1. Now, all you got to do is simplify. First, the double negative 6. Negative negative 6 is positive 6, plus or minus the square root. Now, let me highlight this for us. Because this is what I'll be working on. And this has a special name. It's called the discriminant. And I'm just going to write it over here to the left, right, or the right hand side. So the quantity negative 6 squared is 36. Minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. And 36 minus 20 is 16. So this is going to be x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 16, all divided by 2. So x equals 6 plus or minus, we know the square root of 16 is 4, divided by 2. And now we're just going to separate. x equals 6 plus 4 over 2, or x equals 6 minus 4, divided by 2. 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Or, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, <laughs> like I said, it's that easy. There's, there's uh, our first quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. You don't have to factor. You don't have to worry about completing the square. You don't have to do anything. You just substitute it into the formula. And you just crunch the numbers. That's it. All right? Now, <clears throat> we do got to be careful. Sometimes the answers, they might not work out pretty. Okay? They might not just be a pretty answer. And that's okay. It's just the way it is. All right? So let me show you one where it just it doesn't work out pretty. So we're going to solve 2x squared plus 10x plus 11 equals 0. 
using our quadratic formula again. Now I'm gonna kind of just speed it up a little bit. Let's identify A, B, and C. A is gonna equal two, B is 10, and C is 11. So that's gonna give me negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 to the second power minus four times two times 11 all over two times two. Now we simplify. X is gonna equal negative 10 in the numerator plus or minus. Off to the right, I'm gonna do the discriminant for us. 10 to the second power is 100. Four times two is eight times, times 11 is 88. So it's 100 minus 88, which is, uh, I think it's 22, right? No, it's 12. What am I talking about? So it's going to be negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 12, all divided by 4. And right now, hopefully you can see that square root of 12, it's not a nice number. We have to go ahead and simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite it as the square root of 4 times 3, which... It's two squared to three. So X is going to equal negative 10 plus or minus two square root of three over four. And then finally, what we have to do is we need to simplify what we have here. So if you look in the numerator, I can factor out a negative two. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave it. We'll just factor out a two, we'll keep it simple. So by factoring out a two, that's gonna give me negative five plus or minus the square root of three all over four. And then if you look, and I'm gonna highlight it here for us, we have the fraction two over four, which is one half. So this, is, this will turn out to be negative five plus or minus the square root of three all over two. So like I said, sometimes not pretty answers. We just gotta, we gotta rely on the math that we've learned, simplifying all that stuff and just kind of go with the flow. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more example here. And this one, uh, we're gonna use the quadratic formula again. However, I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna hide, hide <clears throat> excuse me, hide some stuff. What I mean by that is this. Use the quadratic formula to solve x times the quantity x plus 6 plus 4 equals 0. Now, if you look at our problem x times the quantity x plus 6 plus 4, what we need is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Like In other words, we need the quadratic term, we need the linear term, and then we need the constant. So what we're gonna have to do is just distribute. That's it. See, I tried to be tricky, but it's really not that tricky. So I get x squared plus 6x plus 4 equals 0. Now I can go ahead and say a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 4, and then go ahead and make your substitutions into the quadratic formula. And finally, go ahead and simplify. So you get x equals negative six plus or minus the square root. <clears throat> All right, so 36, or I'm sorry, six squared is 36. Four times one times four is um, 16. And 36 minus 16 is 20. All over two. Now the square root of 20, we're gonna have to reduce, but we've done that a bunch already this semester. So hopefully by now you know that uh, the square root of 20 is just two square roots of five. So that gives me x equals negative six plus or minus two square root of five over two. Now in the numerator, I'm gonna factor out a two to give me negative three plus or minus the square root of five, 
all over two. And the whole reason why I factored that two out is so I can go ahead and just reduce the twos out front to give me x equals negative three plus or minus the square root of five. So like I said, none. sometimes the problems are really nice where they, the answers are easy. Other times they are really ugly like what we have here. There's really nothing we can do about it. We just got to go with the flow. So I hope you found this to be the easiest section uh, because all you got to do is know the formula and you just substitute the numbers in and simplify. So good luck on finals and I will see you hopefully next semester. Talk to you later. Bye.